Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at just doing a little bit of formatting with your pivot table. You've created a pivot table and you want to just rearrange rows or columns uh, in a specific order uh, as you'd like to see them. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Uh, I'm going to create a quick pivot table here. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail of how to do that. I will list below uh, other posts that I've done in the past about pivot tables and you can feel free to, to take a look at those and hopefully learn more about pivot tables. But all I'm going to do is highlight my data here and then go to the insert tab and insert a pivot table. And in my case, I'm going to put it right in cell G1 on the existing sheet. And here the general outline will start to pop up as I start creating my pivot table. I'm going to move my sales into the values, my models into columns, uh, my salesmen into my rows, and region, and new and used into my filter area. And I'm going to just highlight this. Uh, the values, right click and go to valued field settings, number format, and I'm going to format that in terms of accounting, no decimal places and no symbol, say OK and OK again, and now I have the basis of a nice simple little format. But what Excel normally does by default is it puts your rows and your columns headings in alphabetical order. As you can see here, Chevy, Dodge, Ford, or Ed through Tom, all in alphabetical order. And maybe that's not how you want it. Uh, you can uh, arrange them other ways, but if you just want to very specifically move a column uh, one way or another or a row one way or another just for um, a specific reason, how you can do that is just by right clicking on that row or column. Let's say we wanted to move Jack down to the very bottom. We could just right click on Jack and there is a move area and we can either move Jack to the beginning, up or down only one row uh, at a time or we can say move Jack to end and Jack will move down above grand total because the grand total always has to be at the very bottom or at the very right. Same thing here if I wanted to say uh, have it so Chevy and then Ford then Dodge I could just right click on Ford and say move and just say move Ford up even though I'm moving it to the left uh, same as up it'll move it one area or one column and now it's in the order I want it. Chevy, Ford, and Dodge rather than the way it was before. So just a simple way to rearrange your data a little bit. Maybe make it look how you want it to in a specific uh, area. Uh, hopefully it's useful to you. Hopefully you like it. Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy Excelling.